All right, on to part three. Neil is uh, plus one. Not after... very happy about that at all. I am no. going to birdie this hole. No, we won't speak of the uh, of the uh, the sermon that he gave in between uh, so six and seven. We got two ten to go to the one fifty marker. It's kind of a strategy hole here. Yeah, there's water over the top of that hill, and you can kind of so see it there. And the three utility iron. You want to get some like one forty in. Absolutely ripped it. Should be good. Sure, sure hope I got that in frame because he ripped it. All right, that's the perfect club today. Hit something out there about 220, 230. Yeah, I'm hitting the same exact thing. So, so he's hitting his three utility iron hits as well. Yeah, that's a good setup. All right, good transition there. Good swing. He's right down the middle. He, I think he might hit the the pole out there. I'm gonna zoom was in. Hit, there we go. Well. That was a good hit. There we go. Rock and roll. Okay. House did a great drive here. He's got 110. I'm gonna zoom in on that flag so you can see how much it's blowing. Dude, it's humming. It, it's coming pretty good off this pond to this lake. Uh, it's going gusting good 15 to 18 miles an hour. What you gonna hit? I'm hitting 60. 60. On my, my one on my 100 yard club. It's just it a smooth. Yeah. yeah, you got it. You got it. It's a good smooth swing. Knock it close. Hey, back off. You're way right. All right. I'm helping him out there. He was aiming right of the green there. I have to charge him my like $20 for that. Good. That's better. Still about 15 feet right. That's better. All right. He gets birdie here. He owes me big time. Yeah, I owe you. Yeah, That's he would have been. I'll, let me show you where he would have been. Over there by that house if I wouldn't have changed his line up. You're I know, welcome. I know Neil's my coach and my buddy, but that, that just shows you that having somebody that knows what the heck they're talking about giving you help on a course is just it's clutch. It's absolutely clutch. I mean I, I've been struggling with my alignment since I started first started playing this game. And uh yeah, that was that was big on Neil right there. I mean, I got a legit chance to make birdie, and you know, you can have the best swing in the world, but if your alignment is screwed, it doesn't mean anything. You know, like when I came back four months ago, I hadn't played in 11 years, really. You know how bad I was struggling with my yeah. Aim. You were helping me, and it's like I thought I was down the center, and I'd be in the woods 50 yards. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I could have made that swing and been in the bunker. It was a great swing. It felt good, but it's. You gotta have you gotta have a good coach. You got to. No sense in spending thousand dollars on club when you got a alignment and swing problems. Oh, that was just a play. I think the wind just knocked that down just a little bit. But honestly, if no, you're putting, I was, I was trying to flight it down. Yeah, that uh, if you're gonna putt, that's the place to putt from. All right, walking up here. Honestly, Neil is putting, gonna be putting from a great place. Where he's coming from is not, not the best way. So you could see here, missing long, you're down in that, and that's, that's just impossible. Neil really helped my alignment though, because I was, I was aiming over there. I even got a little slippery one here. I have to give a little love to that. Ball mark there. There you go. Make sure to take care of the course. All right, Neil, you got it.
Oh, baby! Told you I'd make birdie. I knew he would. What a putt. Yep. Make what up, a putt. Make up nope. for that last disaster. Yeah, he made up for that. There we go. Bounce back. By eight. That's a huge stat right there. What's the rule? Two birdies on the same hole and we go to lunch? <laughs> You can see what Kyle's thinking about. Well, you know. That's the other thing I'm working with him on is to, you know, get his thoughts right. But it's all right. Hey. We're getting there. Rome wasn't built in one day. Yeah, but they had lunch every day. Oh my gosh. Wow. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. How in the world that didn't go in? <laughs> that wow. felt so good. No lottery ticket for you tonight. Nope. All right. Oh well. He's All still right. a good, he's still a good guy though. I promise you. That felt so good. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Well, Neil's back to uh, even. even and I'm should be even right now, but I'm um, plus 1. So, let's go. All right. Birdie man's up. We got 145. Wind's blowing. Wind is straight left to right. I'm gonna hit a little. Well, it's gonna cut. So yeah. I'm gonna, hit, I'm gonna hit a little impact bag, two finger, butter cut. Oh God, him and his names. Mine, I hit. Mine is called "Hit It in Hope." We're gonna have T-shirts made that say that. Hit it in hope. Wow, I hit that good. That wind just ate it up. I'm wrong the fringe. Yeah, I see it. I got it. I hit that really good, Kyle. I you almost kind of want to go back and hit you know, a different you got club. You the wind's hurting more than I thought. All right, I'm gonna go grab an eight now. I hit that really good. That's all right. I mean, the flag <laughs> flag is dead out there. I'm looking at the palm trees in the back, and I it definitely knocked it down 25 feet. I hit that. My stock 150 shot, and oh well. Yeah, That's why do. it's fun playing in the wind, man. I love it. Yeah, it's fun. By the way, Kyle, I did hit the two finger butter cut there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, here's my patented, well, it's not patented, my hit it in hole. Gotta work on that alignment. Yeah, get it left of that flat because of that wind now. Yeah. A little bit more. There you go, right there. It's perfect. Good setup, man. You got it. Trust your swing. Nice swing. Wow, was that his best move today? That is going to be good. Let me zoom in on that. He is. Let's see if I can pick this up. There he is. Right below the hole, about 12 feet, it looks like. Great shot. All right, walking up. Again, Neil helped me with that alignment. Folks, get yourself a PGA instructor. I mean, I know my swing's not the prettiest in the world, but I've made leaps and bounds improvements. And it's not because of equipment. It's not because of a new driver or new irons or new wedges. It's because of PGA instructors. So go out and get yourself one. So let me... uh I'll fix that bottle mark here in a second. So let me. I'm good right there. You sure? Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave it there. Get behind the hole so you can see them. They'll put another birdie in. This would be a hell of a birdie. Got a lot of incline here. Yeah, I think the, the grain got him there a little bit. No, that thing it was a foot and a half elevation. Yeah. Grab the pin here. Again, make sure to fix my ball mark. All right. 
kind of perks uh, holding the camera behind the ball, get to <laughs> see the line. I think that's going to bleed a little bit towards. towards it's definitely the right grain is going towards you and to where my ball ended up. So it's definitely going that way. And, and you can be firm with this one. Yeah. It's not fast. Into the grain. Wow, that grain just ate it up. That felt so good. That was good. That grain, this is one of the grainier grains I've seen, yeah. All right, Still rolling yeah. good, though. Yeah, rolling well. All right. Well, that was a whole hum par there for me. So let's see uh, Neil put this in here. It looks straight. It is going to be, you can see the, the grain of it. Looks real straight. Let's put it in there. Ah, good roll, good roll. All right, uh, Neil is still even. I am plus one. We're on to the last hole of this side. See you guys there. All right, we're at hole number nine, 370 yards. I'd usually hit a three wood, but the wind is right in our face, hurting. So I'm gonna hit a driver. I'm not gonna hit it that hard. Just control it, play a little, little cut. Yeah, oh wait, is this the two finger butter cut? This is the two finger butter cut right here that I learned back in South Georgia back in the day. South Georgia, that's, that's back in the 60s, folks. Whatever. I remember you hitting this shot, my pro give me a Coke if I did the shot right. And a glass bottle. <laughs> it was. It wasn't a glass. <laughs> it was. Damn. Oh, How old man. are you, Neil? Old enough to kick. I'm going to have to edit that out. <laughs> Yeah, that's perfect there. Got him all fired up and he hits a bomb. I'm gonna have to figure out how to put beeps in the video. <laughs> well, we all golfers, so I mean, it makes sense. Well, I wouldn't have got the coke on that. I hit a nice 10 yard draw beat on it. He got me fired up there. He's working me over there. He knows how to get under my skin. That's all right. I still like him. Good swing, good lineup now. Much better, that's much better. Just leaked it out a little bit to the right. Got a little on his toes there. He's in, transition's good, just kind of spun out a little bit through yeah, it. I didn't. didn't. Didn't follow through there. Yep. All right, looks like he's gonna have about 180 here. I got his ball here. There is a big palm tree right here. He's gonna have to, let's zoom in down here. He's gonna have to hit in between those two trees. And swing and draw. go right there, that's the end goal. He can do this, so he's got a lot of skill. We're, we're gonna see what kind of skill he's got here, though. Or how many golf balls I had. All right, he's got a hook law for sure. What club you got here? Five iron. All right, you got the shot. Stay down with it. Wow, let's see where this ended up. That might be on. I don't know where it was tracking. It was we'll have right to. At it. I thought it, it might have just went right over the very edge. Good swing, though. It was in the short grass, which is a good thing. Yeah, that's a good, good, perfect shot. I'm actually thinking about hitting an eight iron. You got to flight it down. Yeah, I got to flight this down big time. I'm gonna put it back in my stance. I'm just gonna really, really try to, I'm not even aiming for flight. I'm gonna go right to the center of the green, see what happens. I think so too. That was just good, what I wanted to do. I'm gonna fix it. Good my, shot. My divot here, the sand. Yeah, making sure to take care of the course. All right, we'll see you guys up at the green. Okay. All right, we found Kyle's ball. He's in right on the edge of the house. He's gonna have to do this one handed. Let's see what he's got here. This is extreme. Yeah, he's gonna try two hand. Let's see if he can just like pop it out of here. 
That is one heck of a shot. All right, good times. There you go. That's all you could do. You moved the ball and you didn't take a penalty, so. All right, take it back. Looks like it's going to break quite a bit. Excuse me. Of the wind. I got about seven, eight feet happening here. All right. And I think I've hit it a couple feet. Good park. And I was taking it upon myself to take the pot because it was like two feet. It's all right. I'm, I'm a generous guy. All right. He saw the line there. It actually rolled out pretty good up that hill. Um, let's see what we got here. It's looking good, it's looking good, it's looking really good. Ah, it's just hard to get it there with that wind. That's good. All right, felt like mine was there. You're good. So, all right, all right, that was nine holes. Nine holes, I ended up even par. Kyle shot two over. It was very windy at Stony Brook West. And we'll see you next time. Check out more of our stuff at the Barnhill Golf dot com for interesting vlogs and blogs.